Hi, my name is Fusum Clown. Today I will show you how to calculate land surface temperature using Landsat 8 image in ArcMap 10.5. So in order to calculate this land surface temperature, we need several files. Some of the files are band 10 or band 11, which is the thermal bands in Landsat 8, and band 4 and band 5, which is red band in the near infrared band in Landsat 8 image. We need band 4 and band 5 in order to calculate NDVI. And we have also need metadata to extract some informations. So I'll show you how to extract this information from metadata. But in order to calculate land surface temperature using Landsat 8 in ArcMap, we have to follow these procedures. Let me sh show you each procedure separately. The first thing we need is we have to convert our digital number to spectral radiance from the end to spectral radiance. So in order to convert to spectral radiance, we have to calculate this one. This this one is spectral radiance. Spectral radiance. So in order to get spectral radiance, we have to calculate this in raster calculator. So go to raster calculator. This is our first step. Raster calculator. ML is represent the band specific multiplicative scaling factor. So you'll get these values from um, metadata. Let me show you how to get it. This is my Landsat 8, uh, Landsat 8 image. So here we have a metadata. Open that metadata. But he, here, as you see, it is not easy to see each values. So copy this one and open new word then paste it here so here you can see each value clearly it is easy to see the metadata in word so the first values ml is represent band specific multiplicative scaling factor so our band is band 10 go to radiance radiance Band 10, multiplicative, multiplicative, this is additive, this is multiplicative, so this is our band 10, this is the value, so copy this one, so if you paste it here, they are the same, and the additive also, additive, band 10, this is the additive, they are the same. So, go to raster calculator. Our values, not this one. Let me copy it from here. Copy. The formula is ML times band 10, band 10 was additive of this one it is 0 0.1 this is the value for additive copy this one paste it here minus correction factor correction for band 10 which is 0 0.1 9 0.29 then give it band 10 band 10 limit limit radiance radiance now we are converting from um, the n or digital number to radiance then click ok this is the first step the second step is we are going to convert radiance to at sensor temperature. So in order to do that, we have to follow this procedure. K2 and K1, you'll get it from metadata. From metadata, K2 
and K2. K1, K1. This is K1 and K2 for band 10. So I have already copy pasted here. You have K1 this much and K2 this much. So we don't need to copy paste it again so k2 go to raster calculator again raster calculator k2 divided by lang lang k1 what is that our k1 k1 is this this much copy divided by radians plus one mm. close this bracket but this value gives us temperature in kelvin give us in kelvin in kelvin so we have to convert Kelvin into degree Celsius. So how can we convert Kelvin to degree Celsius? Degree Celsius is equal to Kelvin minus absolute zero, 273 minus 15. So you have to edit this function. This way we have to subtract minus 273 minus 0.5. So this one will give us in degree Celsius, then name it band 10, band 10, sensor temperature. Now we are converting radiance to sensor temperature, then heat enter. So this is our at sensor temperature. From 39 to 18 so this is the second the four and the second step the third step is we are going to calculate emissivity first before going to calculate emissivity we have to calculate NDVI so I have already calculated NDVI if you don't know how to calculate NDVI I have a video how to calculate NDVI you can watch that video so after calculating NDVI how can you calculate NDVI NDVI is a near infrared band minus red band divided by near infrared red band plus red band you can if you do this you can get NDVI then uh, the next thing we have to calculate proportion of vegetation proportion of vegetation I have already calculated proportion of vegetation how can you calculate proportion of vegetation go to raster calculator you have already calculated NDVI our NDVI soil is 0 0.2 NDVI minus 0 0.2 divided by NDVI uh, NDVI vegetation which is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 you will get this proportion of vegetation I have already calculated that one let me show you the function I don't think I'll get it okay you can do this you can do proportion of vegetation by this means then you'll get this value then the next step is you have to calculate land surface emissivity so in order to calculate land surface emissivity this is the general function but there are some authors have suggested some way of calculating emissivity. Those are a conditional sentence, a conditional things. These are this order has this order has suggested this conditional function. When NDVI is less than zero, it is class, classified as water and the emissivity value is 0 0.991 and the NDVI value between zero and the zero two. Is considered this much 
if between this one and this one we are going to use the equation 6 if n divided value is greater than 0 0.5 we are going to give this much so if you want to know about all these things and if you want to know how to calculate i have already prepared a video how to do conditional um, conditional functions in raster calculates please refer that video i have already prepared a video how to uh, even i have used the same example so you can watch how we are going to calculate emissivity so i have emissivity here i don't need to do this again i have already video please watch that, that video if you want to know how we are going to get this emissivity so we have already finished our third step the fourth the fourth step is after calculating emissivity we are going to calculate land surface temperature how can we get land surface temperature we have to employ this formula we have to employ this formula go to raster calculator again then raster calculator bt is sensor temperature sensor temperature divided by open bracket 1 plus mm, this is wavelength is our wavelength is mm, 110 times a sensor temperature divided by this value this is the value so four eight three zero this is our value this value then close the bracket close the bracket again then times land land of emissivity this is our emissivity then check whether you have brought the correct function then hit enter you will get the result the land surface temperature okay i think the function is correct 1 plus Landsat 8 times a sensor temperature divided 14,380 times Lan. So let me call it this Land surface. Land surface temperature. This is Land surface temperature. Heat enter. There is some problem. Let me fix that problem. Okay, correct your function in the following. This is our function at sensor temperature divided by 1 plus wavelengths of 110, which is 110 times um, at surface temperature divided by this value times ln of emissivity then give it name let me give it land surface temperature then hit enter open my comment change the land surface temperature let me give it this one this one 
So this is our land sur land, land uh, surface temperature. So you can do land sur land uh, surface temperature by doing the same procedure. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Bye.